it's, it's, it's really interesting to look at how the response has changed because you're quite right that over the decades there are more people engaged with more initiatives. And you could say that now there are millions of people engaged with ecological or waste initiatives around the world. And that has to be a positive thing. On the other hand, we can see that that hasn't actually affected the total material requirements or the level of circularity in the economy or the kind of structural switch of the economy from a linear to a circular pattern. And so there's this kind of a gap between what we should be achieving, people who are working on it, and what we need to achieve. And it's useful also that you mention the resistance because what's interesting there is you could see that you could say that the resistance is actually built into the way the system works. So the herd thinking is not just the, the habits of thinking that it's convenient to throw something away. You know, the herd thinking and the resistance are built into the structure of the whole. So that, for example, when we, uh, a business wants to design something which is possible, there are actually clear financial benefits quite often for that business in doing it. They can they can make something that becomes junk after a year and then the customers are, have to throw it away and they have to come back and if they're lucky, the business will get to sell the same thing again and again. And the, cust the poor old customer has to keep buying it again and again and then throwing it away because it was badly made in the first place. And that, that kind of resistance is still there. Um, you can even say that there seems to be a kind of a matching resistance. You could say that the whole idea of, of Trump and the kind of anti-progressive movements that you see these days are a kind of anti-progressive anti, anti uh, movement that almost matches the progressive movement. So you can see the kind of a battle there where, where there's, there's <clears throat> the fact that we still have linear economy built into the structure of economics allows a lot of people like Trump to think, oh, well, this is the way the world works and we just have to accept it and look, this is this is good business and business has always worked this way and we've always burnt coal and we've always thrown things away. So, you know, the kind of, it will seem to these people to make sense just because that's the way the world works. And so if you want to overcome the resistance, I don't think you can fight it directly. I think you need to actually reinvent the structure of the economics. You right. have to do it at a level where the resistance switches from be thinking that that's the way the world works to mm -hmm. suddenly realizing that the world is going to work a different way right. and starting to go with that way. And people like Trump, they might still be the dinosaurs of tomorrow, but then they'll be on their own and they'll be out of power and no one will be listening to them. So they will have as much of an audience as they deserve, which is almost no one. They should have the voice that they deserve. Uh, and I think it's uh, right. our job as as a movement of people who are thinking about these things to make that possible and to make it happen.